Hey guys, I'm Jeff from the Track Shack. I'm Alex from Resolute Running. You know, Jeff, you and I, we talk in these terms and we just assume everybody knows. Overpronation, supination, uh, neutral shoes, motion control shoes, stability shoes, etc. But for the average person at home, and a lot of our team members even said this, they're overwhelmed with all this information. What, what in the world is a neutral? What is a stability? What should I be wearing? I don't, I don't know any of this. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do something kind of different today. Uh, we're gonna actually shoot a two-parter series. Yeah. We're gonna talk about pronation. We're gonna talk about three different types of shoes. Um, and then in this part two, we'll talk about the best way to, for you to fit those shoes so you're getting the right shoe. Uh, so let's start in the beginning. What is pronation? Why does everybody talk about it? Well, pronation is basically just your foot's motion from heel to toe. Okay. Uh, if you imagine somebody walking or running, uh, most everybody strikes you know, heel to toe first. Sure. <clears throat> and when you're rolling forward, uh, as your foot's moving forward, it's how your foot uh, uh, responds, basically. Okay. So if you come down with a greater impact on your lateral heel, and as you're rolling forward, if that arch flexes, you'll have a tendency to roll inward. Right. That's over pronation. So if you're caving in, that's yep. over pronation. Yeah, okay. towards the inside. Neutral pronation uh, is just a lateral heel strike, and then most of the weight staying down the midline of your foot. So you're, then you, you, you kind of roll off right down the middle of your foot, basically. Perfect, so, okay. And then under pronation, you basically stay to the outside of your foot. Got it. So, uh, so that, that's uh, your, least, your least common foot shape, though, is that under pronation. And the goal, I guess, for all these shoes is they want you to be more neutral. They want you down the middle as most, much as possible. Yeah, neutral pronation is kind of what the goal is because that, that reduces lower leg rotation. And so by reducing lower leg rotation, you can reduce uh, some, you know, some lower leg injuries, sure. shin splints, knee issues, and things like that. The more efficient runner. Exactly, okay. exactly. Well, now that we've kind of described that, let's talk about three examples of shoes. And mm -hmm. I know you brought some, so let's start yeah. with what you have. Yeah, generally shoes are, are categorized in, in, in three basic uh, categories. You got uh, neutral, support, and control. Okay. Uh, this is our neutral example today, New Balance's 980 Boracay. Uh, what a neutral shoe is, uh, is a semi-curved shoe. Okay. Uh, if you can imagine what a high arch looks like, uh, a footprint looks like, sure, you sure. see the forefoot and then the lateral heel, basically. There's nothing in the middle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and so you, you're gonna get narrower through the midfoot. So more curve for a higher arch, basically, got it. in that neutral category. Uh, in the support category, you got a most popular seller, the Structure uh, from Nike. Uh, the difference here is, and you can see it from behind a little better, soft uh, on the lateral side, right. uh, firmer on the medial side, so they color that so you can tell the difference. The blue ah. is firmer. Uh, and so the idea here is that when that arch flexes and falls inward, you're going to engage this firmer material. And it's pushing you back and it's going to help keep you neutral. So support that area on the medial side of the foot a little bit. That makes better. sense. So. And then uh, lastly, the control category. Which is, that's a beast. Yeah, yeah, man, this is the beast. And so appropriately named, uh, control category is designed for flat feet. So if you can, again, imagine what a flat footprint looks like. Right, so there's nothing the there. whole yep. sole of the foot, yeah. So this is what's called a straight last, less curve here on the medial side of the shoe. Uh, very firm, very dense on the medial side to help control over pronation as well. But really, on the fit side, you got that uh, that really wide base. Got it. So. Okay, so it keeps you in nice support all the way through. Exactly. Okay. So there's kind of an overview of the three shoes, what pronation is, and what we'd like to do in this next episode, and I hope you'll tune in next week, is let's talk about how we fit you. You've got this information, now what do I do with it? How do I know what is the right shoe for me? So stay tuned, we'll talk about that next week, and unless you have anything else. I'm all good. All right, we'll see you then. Take care, guys.